Two seconds. Does it at least? Hello? Okay, cool. It at least sounds normal. Um. 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 <laughs> I don't know why it is green. Please spare me. Oh, is there a troubleshoot? Okay, hold on. I fixed this once before, but it might break everything. So let me see. Let me see if I can do it. I've done it! Okay, hold on. I've got my stream, like, blasting in my ear. Huzzah! That was a pain, but welcome! We did it! Game audio, game audio! We did it! Welcome to the stream! Okay, my horsey, I don't have right now, so we're gonna run and go grab it. This is the game Black Desert Online. I have been quite partial to Black Desert Online recently. And definitely been getting back into it quite a bit. So, I look forward to it. Um, oh yeah, today is going to be a shorter stream because a really shorter stream, like only a one hour long stream because my brother has neglected to inform me that he has a rather important exam. And coming up here in the next couple hours. Oh, heck, I don't have a saddle. That's right. Do I have one? Can I? Tidal doesn't feel heavy like Calfion. It's too hectic and people are inconsiderate in Calfion. Emity. Is he gonna want to talk to me? He's not gonna want to talk to me. Okay. Let's go buy a saddle from the marketplace instead. I have it on my other horse because I'm training a horse on my different character. So we're just gonna go pick one up really quickly. I- it's- it's not like I need money. I mean, the economy is different. I feel like every time I get ahead, it's not ahead anymore, but that's okay. Okay, so we need a saddle. Those are all cosmetics. These are a light hide saddle. That one's the cheapest and it's not the shabby leather. Oh, jeez. I- why? I'm not paying 26 million dollars for a saddle. That is entirely too much. Okay, okay, this one. Not quite what I was after, but it's also not twenty-six million dollars. Oh, I forgot to grab it. And let's grab my money back. Huzzah! Okay. So this right here is my horse. Ta-da! We're not getting a fancy saddle quite yet. It's pretty fancy. It's fancier than the one I was gonna get. But it's okay. It's okay. Don't get on. So, not quite what I was wanting, but it'll get the job done. Just so I can sprint. I think it's got... 
long. What's the dash ability? That's not it. This one has some sort of dash ability from being a Pegasus. Let's see. F. During instant excel. E when double jump. What does that mean? Oh, I can fly! Okay, yes. F is its, like, little dash ability. Cool. We don't really need that. And can I drift, too? Oh, yeah, I can. Look at that. What a cool horse! Yeah, this all will work. It's good enough. So what we're doing right now is called a season character, which means that we've got all these little missions to complete. And it's gonna give us basically, like, a streamlined way to get almost endgame type gear. I don't think it's, like, the best of the best anymore, but it'll be enough to, like, do the regular content for endgame. So that we don't have to, like, farm and farm and grind and grind and work really, really hard. So we are just going to cruise right on through the story because I... have played this game so many times before and I have never once really particularly cared for the story. It's a bit boring. Okay, let's go back. Grab that. So basically right now... Okay, we got a little costume. I'm not gonna wear it though because it's ugly, but we got it. Oh, what's that? Me. Oh, that's from my house. I'm trying to be more on top of like what everything is. So we could go ahead and use that scroll. I feel like I just hoard everything in my inventory. And that always like overwhelms me and makes me almost not want to play the game just because of how many things are in the inventory at all given moments. So I'm trying to be like more understanding of what the 20 million things do so that I can properly uh, use them. And I'm sure, I'm sure combat will come up eventually within the next hour. But yeah, my brother has an important test to take. So basically I gotta get off the internet and I gotta shut my mouth and I've got to watch his cat because his cat doesn't like being shut out of rooms and stuff. So he's gonna start screaming as soon as my brother shuts him out to take his exam. Oh, right, right, right. These guys are mean. These guys are mean, mean. Oh, look, they're giving away a Razer headset. Yes, it is their eighth anniversary, which is insane because I started playing this game literally on launch. And the fact that, I mean, oh, I'm, I mean, what are they going to do? I started playing it on launch, right? And now it's eight years old. That's crazy. I mean, it was, I, pr I wasn't like the right age or whatever, but I don't think they care, right? Right, they don't care about that. I feel like most games don't care. But they're trying to be a bit more strict about it in some places. I already leveled up my, uh, my weapon to the highest tier possible for right now. It's not, I didn't like uh, exchange it yet, which is something I can do just because I'm scared it won't give me the completion for the like little season battle pass thing but it's still gonna be super overpowered for the foreseeable future oh and look at that xp boost very useful okay cool are they gonna attack me i can't tell yeah yeah no they definitely are yeah here okay now we can summon our quest guy and this game is so chill to just like spam go through so nice and i love this outfit for the witch this isn't even like a costume or anything this is just the plain like outfit and of course oh you know what you can stay there if you want to be there you can stay there Wee. there is an outfit that i really really like for the witch but are the outfits in this game are all like 30 dollars which is insanity and then they used to only sell for like 600 million on the market board, but now they sell for like a billion dollars, which is entirely too much. Okay, yeah, no, I need, I need my horse. It's gonna get stuck down there. I thought we were staying in the cave. Apparently that's not the case. So get over here. I'm so happy to finally have dream horses though. They gave away a second free one in the dream horses for context are like, stupidly hard to get for no good reason well just to, they like to make a lot of things really really hard to obtain and rare in this game and dream horses are one of those 
So I feel so happy that I finally got one because I had been making attempts and trying to get one for a really, really long time. Ah, oh, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. I've been trying to get one for such a long time and it's never worked before. Man, I think I fried my throat doing something because it, it's got that little sensation in the back. Bleh. Yes, have fun crocheting. Oh my goodness, that sounds like so much fun. I really want to get back into crocheting. I should. Okay. Let's head into the secret place. I've never joined a guild or anything in this game. I kind of want to, but I feel like a lot of the people who play this game have like the gamer bro personality, especially in... <laughs> Whenever, it, for context, for context, for gamer bro personality, whenever it comes to be like election year, there's some very interesting things going on in the global chat. <gasps> He's too big. Okay, come on. Come through here. There you go. Yay! I love the horses in this game so much. They're doing a bit of a horse rework. Yarn is so expensive. Where now? The horses, it used to be tier 1 through tier 8, and then tier 9 was dream horse, and then there's one more dream horse that's tier 10, but barely anyone has that one because that's, like, ridiculously, ridiculously hard to get. So... Uh, but they changed it, so now it's just tier 6 through tier 8, and they got rid of all of the early tiers, which is pretty good because they're really hard to get rid of. And now it makes it easier to breed horses, but I'm scared it's gonna crash the market because that's like the only way I ever make money. It's just by breeding horses. Because I love horses. But they added all of these new skills and stuff too. And now you can auto sprint your horses, which is a big deal because it takes like 30 hours each to level the horse if it's not sprinting. But now it's not an issue. I still need to level up this one too. I'm trying to get the trainer up higher on this character because I feel like I do want to main Witch over Corsair. My other, my current main character that I have is a Corsair, but I just don't like the aesthetic as much. They're like, they're mermaids, but they're like blue and you can't change them from being blue. And then I don't really do as much ocean content anymore, so. It doesn't seem fitting. My favorite character that I used to play all the time is Nova, but I feel like I just got a bit bored of Nova. And also, I already have one, but she's not a seasoned character, so... We're gonna try out Witch! I've never done Witch Awakening either, so I feel like that's gonna be like the make or break for me, because I only ever play Awakening classes. They added something called Succession, which means that you can still use... There's like, once you have level 56 you get like a new gear get thing like a new weapon and everything and it's all special and fancy but i feel like they added succession too which means they use the same ones and it's just stronger but i never do that it doesn't feel as exciting you're about to go to bed oh thank you so much for stopping by i hope you get amazing fantastic sleep they're all purple because they think i can't do this they think I can't defeat them. But that also means they're gonna give a heckin' ton of XP, which is great. I really- I don't want to, like, power level, necessarily. But... I do feel as if it's important for me to get through the season pass as fast as I can, up to the point where I can get the upgrade gear. That way I don't have to have all of these little prompts. Okay, cool, we got that one. Their armor. Does it want us to do like the armor armor? Like the... Oh, it definitely does, doesn't it? Oh, cool. Oh, wait, I've got the stuff. Okay, cool. We can do that right away, then. Let's just clear out these harpies. You go here. And wait. Wait. Are these not different? There used to be blue ones and it was like a whole thing. Is it just the one now? Let's just dump them all in, it's fine. And I will use crons. Because I've got a ton right now, and I don't like failure, so like... Oh no, okay, cool. Cool, we did it. That went really well, actually. That went insanely well. 
Okay, now the next ones are just leveling. So we don't have to really enhance anything. That's pen already. I'm still going to know. Actually, no, 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 armor. Because it's going to want us to do the armor for the quest. So, I'll use my 20 million crons. See? Otherwise, it's going to lose rank. Nice! Okay, cool. But we can't convert it yet because it won't be able to do the thing. What else do we got? Sub weapon? I think there is one for the sub weapon in there. Let's just do all of them. It's fine. We'll do all of them that I possibly can right now. I don't think there's any reason to not do it. Until like save it. So why not? Okay, cronstones. Okay, cool. So that is almost there. And we are doing a pretty good job. Okay, let's just keep donking these guys on our way over, I guess. Now we can try and get a whole five more. So it's totally gonna change our entire situation. Bye, Harpies. Get out of here. It will give me quite a bit of XP though, won't it? Yeah. That is quite a bit. There's a reason for endgame and stuff there. Oh, you guys can't really see it. Because the chat's blocking it. But it the percentage for XP has three decimal points. And there's most certainly a reason for that as you progress farther into the leveling. And it is a pain in the butt. So hopefully it's not too bad. I feel like it's easier now than it used to be. But it's still painful. It used to be so hard to even hit Awakening. And now it's considered to be like the soft level cap or whatever. But not anymore. Now there's like a quest to boost you up there. It's very nice. Very convenient. But I also have to think like I had so much trouble leveling and stuff in this game. But I also started playing it eight years ago when I was young, young. And so I probably didn't really know what I was doing in the slightest. Because it does seem quite a bit easier now. I love just being able to automatically run from place to place. Let me through. Technically, I feel like we could be doing world bosses too right now. But... I don't know if I want to. Because those will be like far away, won't they? He's pretty close still, so we'll abandon the horse. Oh, what's that? Wait, what's that? Wait! I know we're saving these until I've got 50. That way you can get another free pet. But I want an accessory. Okay, never mind. I want some sharp black crystal shards. I don't really know what to do with them though, but people buy them for a lot of money. Oh, you use them to craft concentrated magical black stones, but I don't think I need that right now. Oh no, I used to just sell all of my enhancement materials and not even try to enhance, but I feel like that's a bad decision these days. So now I feel like I'm kind of hoarding a bunch of stuff. He had like a little chat. Okay. Skip! Oh, we're getting through this so quickly. I know though, once we hit Kelpion, there's gonna be a quite a large amount of quests. Right, our bridge, that's 800 away, but. Oh, oops. I also feel like it's not really... Is it gonna be safe for my horse? I'll take it with, why not? It'll be fine. Maybe we'll just let it go. Oh, look how pretty it is! I've never used the unicorn before, I just got it like two days ago. So I'm not quite sure what that one does. Apparently it can run like fast in the desert, so you don't need to get a camel. But... I don't really go to the desert. I've only been in the actual desert desert once and it was during the Oasis event, so like, it didn't really matter, I guess. So, I don't know how useful it's gonna be. I don't really go there because you need like, all the heckin' water and stuff and you gotta constantly be on top of everything. I don't like things like that. Oh, okay, okay, we'll just leave my horse here then. In this nice little camp. Even though I leveled up the Corsair, I skipped all of this section for some reason, so I, like, have no knowledge of anything over here. 
Very strange. I don't even think, I remember I didn't even go to Glish, so the Corsair must have some sort of like alternate quest line or something? Because I didn't do any of this back in the day. And they did change the main, I know that Berserk, not Berserker, but uh, Guardian. It's a little bit different too, isn't it? And this one was different too. I didn't even have to like go fight the big boss guy at the beginning. So weird the way they do it. They've got all of these different like quest variants that you have to do now. But I suppose it does keep things a slightly more interesting for the people who actually read the story. And just because this game is very heavy on alts. It really wants you to play like every single class. And every single class has to be a completely di oh. I left you in a safe place for a good reason. Every single class is a completely different character. <laughs> Reclaiming the bridge. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Was that knowledge? Come back, sir, come back. What do you want to tell me about? Wait, what is this? What does this mean? Oh, okay, it gave me some stuff, cool. And let's kill 50 of these guys. They must have redone the music recently too because it's very different from last time I played and it sounds so nice now. It sounds so much fancier and so much better. Especially in like the cities, but there's also a bunch of like sakura trees and stuff so it might just be for an event. I'm not sure. They do so many random events, but I don't really care for the events that they do that much. Because they're all very confusing. It's not very straightforward at all. But it's still fun. I feel like nothing in this game is straightforward. But then again, it is a... At this point, I feel like it's a pretty old MMO. Like, it's been going for a whole long time now. And it's still going pretty strong. So, you can't really fault them for having outdated systems, I suppose. The number one reason I wanted to play this game way back in the day was because I was watching YouTube videos and I saw a YouTube video that was like pre alpha whatever, whatever. And it was like a horse training tutorial. And I was like, there's an MMO where you can like tame horses? And that's what drew me in. That's what got me. Where's the rest of the harpies at? And the rest of the game is pretty cool too, but I mostly... I mostly just stick to the horses in terms of money making. I did have cows, but... All of my cows are sadly no more because I took such a long break from this game. So, I gotta get more cows because I'm pretty sad that they're gone. A whopper? What kind of whopper? I don't sell whoppers here. I don't like Burger King. I don't like hamburgers. They're... oh. The texture of the ground meat patty combined with the bread bun is not good. I don't like hamburgers at all. <gasps> Some dino nuggies? Absolutely, but instead of dino nuggies, how about the Impossible brand specifically? Because they're the best. Some people will argue and they'll say Morningstar is better, but that's not true. Impossible brand endangered species nuggies instead because those things are fire because hear me out what's the number one problem with chicken nuggets it's the fact that they always have weird suspicious crunchy bits in them that are disgusting and repulsive and ruin your whole day when you bite into one just thinking about it oh it's making me shrivel up a little inside but you know what vegan chicken nuggets don't have Suspicious crunchy bits. Yeah, yeah, I hate those so much. I hate it. it. Oh, it's so gross. So, I only eat vegan chicken nuggets because they are texturally stable. Everything is perfect. It's the same texture, and there's absolutely zero chance of suspicious crunchy bits. So, like gristle, bones, cartilage, all kinds of stuff in there, but you know what doesn't have that? the vegan chicken nuggets and the impossible brand tastes so suspiciously like actual chicken nuggets 
that it makes me a bit nervous that I will, in fact, bite into a crunchy bit. And I get this, uh, it's a garlic dipping sauce. Not garlic parmesan, mind you. Just garlic. And I dip it in that and it's really, really yummy. I would highly recommend. They got a lot of protein in the vegan ones. I feel like for vegan food, rather than making them, like, nutritionally balanced, I guess, with, like, all different types of nutrients, I feel like they just try to see just how much protein they can possibly put in it. Which is fine, but wouldn't it be cool if the vegan chicken nuggets had, like, every single nutrient you needed? And it was just, like, some sort of superfood? Because I do feel like they have... They have the ability to do something like that, right? So why don't they? Because, like, it's already probably got vegetables and stuff, and it's got heckin', like, wheat protein or something. And so how hard would it to make it the perfect nutritionally balanced food? Yeah, we have the technology, so I don't understand why they didn't do that. It would make everything so much better. Society would evolve. Because, like, I don't know, it would be good. It would probably make it really heckin' expensive, though. That's the thing. They love to charge a ton of money for stuff like that. Ah, uh, look at my horse. On my other account, I actually have... a horse armor that looks really pretty, and it makes me a bit sad that I don't have it on this one. The other one, I bought, like, the... Conqueror edition or whatever. But... then, I... Ended up wanting to play through Steam instead. So I got a Steam account. And it's very sad. I'm missing so much of that cool paid stuff. Honestly, I think that I overwrote that one though with the Steam account. Because this suspiciously has the same email address the non-steam account and i don't know if they exist like next to each other or if this one took over a little bit i mean i don't mind because i've got the dream horses but just a thought that the other account could quite possibly be gone forever that's okay i quite like this outfit too except it doesn't have a hat and i was very sad when i found that it doesn't have a hat because i feel like the hat makes the witch Oh, where's the... Oh, I can learn my new skill. If you have a seasoned character, it unlocks all of the other skills automatically. So very convenient. Where's the item shop? Okay, guys, close your eyes because there might be some inappropriate things. Hold on. Okay, where's it at? I'll try not to click on... Okay, that's, that's not it, but that's very pretty too. Look at that. Look at how fluffy it is. Oh, wait, this one's on sale. It's on sale. Oh, but nothing with the premium outfit box because it's really ugly for witch and I don't like it. How does this one look? I guess we'll never know. But this one? Oh, that one's cute too. But where is the one that I really wanted? It wasn't limited edition. I remember that much. It was just like one of these. Ah, yes, this one. This one I quite like. I'm quite partial to. I feel like it looks very cute. And I like how it's not like super long and flowy, but it's very put together. Very, oh, very nice. Very nice. I would definitely dye the yellow to pink though. But other than that, I don't think I would change anything about it. So that's the goal. I thought I tried to see if it was on the market board, but it was entirely too expensive. So I was like, might as well just get it myself at this point. Especially if there is a sale. Doki, another inventory expansion. I kind of maybe I'll just list those on the market board. Is there really any point in me holding on to this stuff when I could have money? Jeez, but I've got like no mains. What do I do with these? Crafting manos accessories? I don't care about that. I don't care about that, but 14 million dollars sounds pretty good. Oh, okay, my flax sold. 
Okay. I hope that that's not a mistake. And I hope that this isn't a mistake. Because that's a lot of money. That's 20 million money. Okie dokie, time to go to the wheat plantation! We're cruising right along. I remember way back in the day, it took me like weeks and weeks and weeks of playing just to get this far. So I have no idea what I was doing because I started this character literally like two days ago. I have absolutely no idea. I was like that in all MMOs too though, where I just for some reason, I'll like log back onto my old accounts from back when I was a kid and I'll have done like literally nothing. But this is a game that I played like every single day. So it's like, what was I doing with my time? I was one of those people though. I was very partial to making a new character every single time I launched the game because I just, I had commitment issues. I couldn't commit to any characters at all ever. And so I would just create a new one every single time I launched it. And I feel like that definitely led to my downfall of not getting anywhere ever. <laughs> Alright, let's try and get some knowledge. Why people want to talk to me. Because I really, I don't have any on this account. I thought I had more, but the course requests must have taken me like away from all of these places. Or I just didn't care to talk to anyone while I was here. Let me off. Hello. <laughs> but now we've got knowledge. Which gives us like the energy and stuff too. Do not hesitate to help others. Everyone okay, those are just rentals. Heart. I don't need any of those. I already have all of my fences in Heidel. I just gotta put them down. Slap some cows on there. That might be a good idea while I'm playing. But do I really want it? I kind of want to run all the way back there. Get everything set back up. Words cannot describe the situation in refugee camp. But I don't remember exactly what I need to do. It's all so confusing. The farming is especially confusing in this game. It's got all of these random, like, little menus that you go look at and stuff. And I don't know what any of them mean. So, I just... It, it's, it hasn't gone badly before. When I've done it, hold on, let's, let's go grab it. Let's go grab it, because it takes quite a bit of time. And we're not that far away from Heidel. Okay, so they're all there. I used up both of my maids. Which means we will have to stop by the central market to buy the fodder for my cows so that I have cows. And I think it's what, like two per? It's two per thing, right? And how many do I have? Hello, Heidel. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we're gonna have 20 cows, which is. Quite a bit more than I originally thought I had, but that's fine. Okay, I got more dice. Beautiful, love that. A bit pointless, but whatever. And now, can we roll it again? I feel like I always use them. And then they're not actually there. Oh, nice! I leveled up! We need to be a professional one in order for me to use this character for, like, training, training. So it's still a ways away, but that's okay. Aw. Oh. Aw. Oh. That's okay. Plus 40 is still pretty good. That's still pretty okay. I don't think we're gonna need, like, any of the advice of Elks on this character for a really long time, though. And just because it's very streamlined with the way that I want you to do it. And what are my quests? We gotta do 35, then we do 40, 45, and then it's the plus 15, then 50. Then they have to be pen. Which they already are. And then I will be able to convert them. Yes, okay, beautiful. So we're almost there. We're almost to the point of conversion. And then it says armor. And ring. I don't like how they throw the accessories at you so late in the game. And then we've got a weekly quest that we gotta do. Defeat 100 monsters. 57, 200 monsters. These are different. Level 58 gives you... Oh! Okay, so you only gotta... Don't you equip two rings? Yeah, so you only gotta do it once. And then the necklace. And then what are these? They used to give better rewards for the premium pass, but not really anymore. They should, though, considering that is $30. This battle pass, 
$30 and you don't even get anything good anymore. You used to get like a pet, I think. And then you get an outfit, which the outfit is $30, but you can't even choose any outfit that you want. You get two maids, two singular maids. I guess you also get the permanent horn, which is that's pretty good to have, but not for 30 bucks. I feel like it only really is worth it if you really, really, really care about getting the outfit and you want to just get the best bang for your buck because all of those extra enhancement materials and stuff, you don't actually use those. You're never going to need that many. So it feels pointless to charge that much money for it. Okay. First thing is first. We need 20 cows. Oh, we also need beer. You can entrust your goods without it's called like uh, it's an official trade zone let me, approved by the head of the magic guild let me put all my money on there and i'll sell this stuff i don't actually want it it's fine i'll keep the memory fragments though usually i sell those but now i see why i'm not supposed to we can sell like the meals you're late welcome welcome to the stream though you made it all of this stuff can go though we don't actually need it okay the economy is kind of dead, but it's not called fodder. What's it called then? Heck. Heck. Is there a farming one? Farming. Furniture and hit material. Plant seed slash fruit. I swear I thought it was called fodder. Okay. It's got quite a large picture, so I don't think it'll be that hard to see. Here it is. Hey, stack. Okay, but we want the special ones because we're bougie like that. And how many do we need? 20. There goes 21 million dollars. Wait, did I? I don't want to pre-order them. Come on. Come on. Okay, we need two more. Two more. What? Okay, cool. So that's like our startup cost. Okay, I'm not gonna have enough room. They don't stack, do they? We're gonna have to do this like a couple at a time. Let's just see how many I can grab. And then we will go place them. Oh, I forgot the beer. That's okay, that's okay, that's okay. That can come last anyways. That's just for my workers. Within your allowed space, of course. Alice is my horse. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's do six. That's my horse. Glimmering and faint. What do I got right now? Who are you? Glimmeringly shining? Is that glimmering? Hey, hey. Probably. I've got like 50 of them. And I think it only takes like two to spawn a fairy. Yeah, I've got 51. So I'm really not super concerned about fairy chances as soon as i get that far we're just gonna burn through all of them and try and get the highest tier okay this is usually where i put my cows just because i really like heidel so i just put them like all up in this area oh wait no 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 let's do it on the other side of this path that way we can try and get them a little bit more all together i'm not quite sure how all together we'll be able to do them. But let's try and get them relatively aligned. Yeah, see, like, there's those little red spots. And I thought that meant that I couldn't place it there. But it lets me do it. So, I mean... I don't think it's an issue. Maybe it is if I'm, like, planting plants. But these are not plants, these are cows. Okay, I almost feel like two rows of five? Like that? Yeah! And then one right there! You can't verify your YouTube account. Oh, no. 
Okay. We buy double the amount of cows we need. I knew it seemed suspicious. We can only have one cow. Okay, and we don't want to place the haystacks in the middle either because otherwise it makes it a bit of a pain in the butt to like interact with it. Okay, and these cows are going to be needing a heckin' ton of special care that I'm not going to do. So I'm going to get my employees to do it for me. I guess I'll just save all of the extra haystacks. Since I decided apparently to buy 20 billion of them. Boy. But firstly, let's finish planting. Actually, I'll list 10 of them. I'll list them after we uh, finish placing everything. Or right now. Because I need beer. That way I can get the workers there as fast as possible. Hello, ma'am. You can entrust your goods okay. without worry, since it's an official trade zone approved they by the head of the They can take 10. Field. And my money. We're gonna list that. Because that was a mistake. And then we are going to buy some beer. I don't think it matters which one we get. So we're gonna get the basic one. And we're just gonna buy like a hundred of it. It is pretty heavy, so we have to be careful with how much we're carrying. But a hundred shouldn't be that awful and horrible. Okay. Now we're gonna recover them all. And... Worker. We'll just go down the list. Jeez, I've got a whole artisan worker. Make sure they're all from Heidel. I missed one. Okie dokie. Now let's grab the fences and finish setting up our cows! And they'll be done in like... A minute. A long minute. Like hours, minutes. But at least they're going. At least they're doing the thing. Hello, sir. If you have a lot of stuff, leave it with me. Let's grab those and <laughs> head out on our merry way. Back to the cows. Hello, Dragoon. Welcome. Welcome to the stream. Oi. Oh, it's E, right? Yeah. I love the Pegasus so much. It's my favorite of the dream horses. My least favorite is the Doom one because I find it a bit boring. Okay, how are we gonna go about this? We gotta do a like, straight line, otherwise it's gonna be like horribly uneven. But I feel like I'm gonna hit something. So I'm a bit nervous. Cause then it... Oh, okay, okay, I was about to say. I didn't see my fences there. That can't be. How do you park a horse? It's just parked, see? Hanging out. Okay, two more. I was wondering why all my workers didn't have like nodes or anything because I used to do them all like gathering stuff. But nope, they're all tended to my cows now. Okay. There's one. Oh, oh, oh. Wait. Okay, cool. I was like, am I in the wrong one? Two! Three! And four. These cows are gonna give me milk, which is good because... It... You can only get it by playing this mini game and you need it for a lot of cooking, so most people, if they don't have cows themselves, they just go ahead and buy the milk. And they're gonna buy it from me! Parallel park your horse. Look at them go! Alrighty, those are my cows. Beautiful, lovely side quest that we just did. 
Now I gotta run all the way back to Kelfion. Oh. Right after we crash into that tree. Here we go. I don't even know if we'll make it back in time because like I said at the beginning, this is a much shorter stream today because my brother has an exam to take online and Alice cannot, in fact, be live streaming across the internet while he is taking it. So... We will simply hang out for a little bit longer and then that will be that. I've got to go babysit his cat, hang out, do the thing. And wait for him to be done. Look at this go. Oh, I love my horse so much. Yes. Well, it would be very bad of me to ruin his exam. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna sprint a little bit. The Pegasus is supposed to be able to regenerate energy. But I feel like I haven't been seeing that. Like it did regen health. But I feel like the energy isn't regenerating. Let me check. It's supposed to be able to do that. Oh, it doesn't say. Wait, do I have every skill unlocked? Jeez. That's huh. impressive. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be regenerating it anymore. And I wouldn't put it past them to remove that because the economy for players is completely out of control. It got to the point where they had to like make us so that you can't set your own prices on the market board because things were getting so expensive. And it wasn't like expensive like uh, inflation. Oh, congratulations. I'm so excited that you finished all your midterms. Now you can properly relax. Hello, Maddie. Welcome, welcome to the stream. It was just a couple players that had like all the wealth. And then they would uh, just charge massive prices for everything. That was craziness. So, you can't do that anymore. The horse market was always like that though. You can't set any horse prices. My last horse I was a bit nervous about being able to sell because it got to level 30 and the only skill it didn't have was sprint, which is arguably the most important skill for your horse to have. So I ended up just selling it to the NPC vendors instead. See, why is it chasing me? Stop chasing me. You're supposed to stay over there. Did I not park it good enough? It's supposed to stay safe. Sir? Sir, no. Okay, so now it appears to be parked. I miss how back in the beta... It will put like a little tether on the ground to, Lord to show your horse was parked and I feel like that was such a cute detail, but your bird is screaming at you. <gasps> it doesn't do that anymore though, the tether. Very sad because it was such a cute little detail to have. For like realism or whatever. Hello, sir. What brings you to this I must have talked to the priest guy because all of these people need me to have talked you to the priest guy some. first in order to like get their knowledge or whatever. Alchemy has a deep meaning. So we must have done it's that on the other character. So weird, all of just the random bits that I don't actually have. Yeah, I hear. That was very easy. Oh, and I've only got 17 minutes on my scroll left. That's okay. I'm glad that I actually used it. The sprint animation... It is a little funny looking. Okay, the refugee camp, I think, is safe. I'm pretty sure. So we're gonna take my horse over there. Orwin is like a recurring character. That's who we're going to meet up with right now. I don't quite know what she does or like what her significance is. Ah, there's Kelpion! Kelpion is definitely... I think I like it more than Heidel, like vibe-wise and aesthetic-wise. But... It's, it's very secluded. It's very separate from the rest of the world. So I kind of like Heidel more. That's like my home base just because it's very close to everything. Okay, yeah, no, this is not a safe environment for you. You know what? You can fend for yourself, right? It'll be fine. It'll still be fine. I so thought that she was in like the little camp and not like on a random roof somewhere. So it's fine. They won't be able to kill my horse, I don't think. 
Okay, this guy, this guy. What are you doing? No. Get out of here. Oh, I leveled up. <laughs> Maybe it's this guy that's gonna be in like the safe zone? But yeah, I also. Oh, oh, oh. I didn't mean to do that. Oh, go. Run. I'm trying to open my map, but I keep hitting the wrong button. I'm quite partial to Cam Silva. But, oh, I don't think I got there on this one. Where's it at? It's gotta be, it's gotta be over here, right? Because like Heidel, the entrance to Kama is like, that's not it, that's homes and stuff. It's like right here somewhere. Yeah, and then it's like down here, which is craziness. Like, look at how big it is. So I would make that like my home. But I do feel as if it's a bit too far away. So every time that I have to go like do anything, like grab my cows or like horses and stuff, it's just so far away from like the meat of the game because everything, everything happens in like Heidel. Lord or Velia or Olvia, but I don't even think the game makes it go to Olvia anymore. It used to be the starting zone, but I don't even think I've got it unlocked. Yeah, it's like somewhere up here. It's a very cute little baby city. I quite like it. Maybe I'm a little bit far. Oh, I remember that. I was obsessed with that when I was a little kid. The little, like, uh, what was it called? The little pink thing and it had, like, Queen Chrysalis or whatever. That was my jam. It was so popular at my school. That was crazy. Way, way back in the day. I, I, they were still making episodes very actively. I don't know if they are anymore. I imagine not. It's been, like... So many years, so many years. But I would like wait for the newest episodes and be so excited when they released more. That was my jam. I kind of, a lot of the other kids started like looking at like Rainbow Factory and stuff though. And I was never into that kind of stuff. So the pony like crowd kind of died out at my school because it got to like the edgy kids trying to show like inappropriate stuff. And it was a whole thing. So. I died. That's okay. I still, I still am of this strong belief that the whole Rainbow Factory thing was messed up. Like, why? Why does everything have to be so inappropriate? I really don't like the, like, almost cliche of creating very inappropriate content for children's media simply because it's children's media. I don't feel like everything needs to turn into like a dark and twisted thing, you know? That's just my opinion. Jeez, leveled up again. I feel like we are a bit behind of the leveling curve just because I've been like slamming through all of these quests so quickly without like stopping to uh, actually do any sort of farming or anything. So every time that we get a big quest like this, that's like, go kill all of these enemies. It is really gonna give us quite the boost. Okay, cool. We did it! Oh, time to unlock our mind training. It's gonna improve our casting speed because that's totally something that's a super relevant and totally useful to us right now. I think you get more like cast casts as awakening, but I'm not entirely positive. And just from what I've seen in like PvP and stuff. Oh, he's looking like he might be inside the city. Okay, come on. Come on, Alice. My favorite animal? I love cows! Cows are my favorite! And they're so fun, they're so cute. I like the Highland cows because they're fluffy and I'm a little bit basic. But that's okay because they're so cute. So yeah, definitely cows. Oh, look at how cute the city is. I've got all of the knowledge here, don't I? And then the next one is level 40, right? Yeah, 40, 45, and then we'll almost be out of our constraints for armor and whatnot. And the auto path always makes you go around and you can just go up the stairs. Is anyone alive? No. Whee! It's 
it's a very quiet day, but it usually is a very quiet day whenever I play MMOs, so that's okay. Now we gotta go down to Ruben. And we are just leveling today too, getting the story quests done. Let me through. Very cute. Ruben is like the little... He's this little kid over here. I hate their voices. They used to be in Korean, so you couldn't like... It wasn't as noticeable how bad the voice acting was in this game, but recently they must have finally localized it or whatever. Because now it's all in English. It's very annoying. I know with everything about the city. Oh, I don't want to rent a flute. Absolutely not. We're going to end up getting like... I'll leave my horse here because it's going to... Get a bit difficult to drive it in this scenario. You're crocheting, yes. You gotta finish your crochet project. I don't know if it's level 40 or if it's level... Uh, I thought it was level 30, but clearly not. Where it will start like throwing all of these random quests at you and it becomes such a pain. Oh, they're already at 3%. I wish it had like a time until done timer, but it doesn't. I'm sure it says somewhere online. But there's really not... There's really not a huge amount of, um... Black Desert guides online. A lot of the super, like, high-end, high-tier end game players are very pretentious about protecting their knowledge, I found. Which... I don't really care for. I find it a bit irritating, a bit annoying. Why are they... Oh, hello! Welcome, welcome to the stream! Oh, we're almost out of time, though. I'll keep going for a couple more minutes, but then I really do have to get off so that my brother can take his test. And he will do a great job, hopefully! I hope he passes, otherwise I don't think I'll ever hear the end of it, so... Very sincerely hoping that he passes. It's like some sort of entrance exam. So, we'll see how he does. And then yes, welcome to the stream! Welcome, welcome! I'll probably, to make up for the shorter stream, try... ...and to record the next chapter of Poppy Playtime today as well! But, like I said yesterday, I cannot beat Miss Delightful! So, until I can beat Miss Delightful... ...the Poppy Playtime Chapter 3 Part 2 will be indefinitely delayed! As I am fighting for my life and struggling, and it is so difficult... I don't know why they made it so difficult, but it is. I should have brought my horse. This is a long run. But it's entirely too hard. And I am struggling quite a bit. So once I beat that boss, then it will be ready to release. Yay! But until then, we're going to be on a, a, a little bit of a break, I guess. A little bit of a break for <laughs> the Poppy Playtime. We're almost there. Okay, it's gonna have me do this once, right? And then it'll like, uh... It'll become a recurring quest that's really annoying and pops up constantly. But we just gotta catch a rabbit. Uh, the 20 billion? Yeah, she's super difficult to beat. I'm struggling so much against her. They give you, like, those little sword things, and then you combine them to make, like, a box, but I don't think I've ever actually done it, so maybe I can actually do it this time. The indicator slowly. Run. I do wish that, like, you have to align it in a certain combination, and I wish it would automatically do it if you're doing, like, auto inventory, which is what I like. Yeah, she's so hard. Oh! Do I have any? Oh wait, that's the dagger thing. Okay, cool. Unimportant right now. Just right now, we gotta do whatever that was. Oh, retrieve the relic he hid at the top of the spire. That's what we did. And we did a pre pretty good job of it. And he's still up here. Nice. I feel like this game could technically like... I don't need a horse. It's very streamlined, very linear, so like... I could just abandon my horse completely and run, but then if I ever needed to run back to a different area for something... Because I almost feel like it would be a bit more convenient to not have to... ...keep up with it all the time. I don't know what that is. But 
then again, like... If we ever have to backtrack and I have to go to, like, Heidel or Velia for anything, it's gonna be a major pain. But see, like, just for this run, I can make this run easily without my horse. It's a very cute horse, though. Even if it's got ugly gear, because I can't afford to spend all that money for horse cosmetics. How much are the horse cosmetics? Maybe they lower the prices. Where's the one? This is the one that I have, right? That's a lie. I've got this one. Um, it's like 20 bucks. But if you buy pearls... Can you buy it for like... I don't even know. Those are $80. Oh yeah, okay. So it's $20 to make your horse look like that. Which I do feel like is expensive. The pets are a lot cheaper than they used to be, which is nice. And a lot of these you can get for free now. Just from playing a season character. Which is very, very nice. But yeah, you can get like... This $70 boat cosmetic. Because that's totally something that's... Important to spend your money on. These horse armors are $30. I mean, that looks pretty cool. You gotta go, ah, oh, thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you, thank you. Um. Mythical Arduina. Oh, it has to be on the Pegasus too. And it's $30. Which is, that's really pretty. I really like that, but not for 30 bucks. The wagon stuff, also 20 bucks. Pretty cute, though. Ship stuff, $70 for some reason. Where's the pets? Are there any super expensive pets? No, the pets are all really cheap. Jeez. And then... Beauty, you can buy, like, all of these little things. Like, accessories and stuff. They're all like, how much is that? Like five bucks each? But they're pretty cute, so you can't really fault it. And then there's costumes, there's underwear, which I'm not going to show you guys because we're on YouTube. And I don't know how much they would appreciate it. The $30 Black Spirit Pass on top of, on top of. If you want to get all of the monthly things or whatever, you got to get the season pass. But on top of that, you also need to get the daily special, which is how much? I don't even know. Daily special pass. It doesn't say. It's probably at least 20 bucks. But it gives you a premium alpha box. Oh, choose your own. Oh, that's a lot better than the standard one. And then a classic alpha box. And then... What's that? Are those pets? Wait a minute. That's got some good stuff in there. Okay, I think that one's definitely worth it. Quite a bit more than the season passes. Because the season passes just most certainly not worth it in the slightest. Hello, sir. Oh, more kill enemies. I think this is about time though because I do need to let my brother take his skill. But yes, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Even though it's a shorter stream and different from what I usually do. Thank you. Thank you for your support. Thank you for watching. And the next stream is going to be uh, Fortnite again on the 28th. We finished all of the quests, so we're going to try and rank up a little bit. Yay. Oh yes, thank you guys so, 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 so much for watching. I hope to see you next time. Oh, hi, Carrie. Welcome to the end. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you guys next time. And I will leave you here with that. Bye-bye. <gasps>